Thanks for uh, stopping by again today, uh, KanganWaterMagic.com. And before I forget, I have a new blog up that I want to make sure that you check out, which is KanganWaterMagic.biz, okay? And it is loaded, and I mean loaded, with all kinds of information, uh, documents, scientific, everything, okay, that I've been compiling. But um, what I'm going to do on this video right now is I want to uh, redo just a little short thing about chlorine in the water. Now, I did a video here uh, several months back, and I've had a lot of comments on it um, for the chlorine that I did with the onion demonstration. So what I want to do for you right now is a real quick little uh, demonstration kind of to go back to that point about chlorine in the water. Some of you had said that, well, why didn't she uh, take the drops and, and retest the water when she was done? Well, I didn't think of it. So let me do this kind of again for you real quick. I'm going to go over here to the tap, and I'm going to just get some regular city water, okay? And as you may or may not uh, remember, um, municipality water is mandated by the federal government to contain chlorine as well as lye. Now, the lye is what brings the pH up to a green color, but we don't, we're not going to worry about that right now. What we're going to talk about is chlorine. So here's the water. Now I'm going to put five drops of chlorine pool tester. Now you can do this at home and it's kind of fun. So here's a little glass of water. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five drops of the chlorine tester. Let me get a little swizzle stick here. Mix this guy up. Prepare to be impressed or astonished, I should say extreme chlorinated water, okay? Doesn't lie. Now, I'm going to take another cup here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and do it again. I'm going to take my fingers, okay? Can you, can we see this right here? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to stick my three fingers in here, doesn't matter. It's going to take just a couple of minutes and while I'm doing this, I'm going to talk to you. What I want to tell you is that when you take a shower, okay your body is absorbing up to the equivalent of eight cups of chlorine into your body uh, when you take a shower not eight glasses of water but uh, the equivalent of the chlorine that is in those eight glasses of water within about a, a five to ten minute hot shower not to mention the fact that you're uh, inhaling all the uh, steam and those chlorine and all those chemicals in your shower. Um, chlorine is a great thing to kill bacteria and all kinds of funky things that are in the water but chlorine doesn't know the difference between the good bacteria in your body and the bad bacteria. Also the number one cause of bladder and prostate cancer is linked to chlorine, okay? So um, I've had my fingers in here now for just a few minutes and I'm going to pull them out. Now I'm going to take those same drops and I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, okay? Same swizzle stick, wipe it off a little bit here. Where'd the chlorine go? It's in my body, okay? So I hope this sets the record straight. And basically what we've done is we've cleaned the water. I've cleaned this water. The chlorine's gone, okay? I can drink this water now or whatever uh, or use it. I still don't want to because it's still nasty water. Um, but there you go. This is the chlorine in your municipality uh, tap water. This is the same water after I put my fingers in and the chlorine soaked into my body. So for all you naysayers that don't get it, I suggest that you go to the website KanganWaterMagic.com or to the blog KanganWaterMagic.biz. Uh, if you go to the website KanganWaterMagic.com, you have the option to go ahead and get this nice DVD. Now I suggest you do that, alright, and I'll send it out to you totally free of charge. Uh, no shipping, anything like that. This is loaded, and I mean it's jam-packed. This will give you the whole meat and potatoes of all this Congan water that you're hearing about. So, my name is Laurel. I'm the Congan Water Lady. You make it a great waterful day, okay? Oh, and it's always so tasty, too. Bye now.